hi all so today in this video we are going to create a mutual fund returns calculator okay so in this in this a uh, small poc what i have taken is three input value i have taken which is like how much money to be invested what is the expected rate of return and what is the time period okay so let's say like uh, invested is 10,000 and uh, the interest rate is like uh, let's say 5% is for FD and let's see like for 11% and if you invest for 3 years okay so if you and here I have taken a pie chart as well so you can see the total amount invested is 10,000 and this is the return that you will get for 11% and here in a different card I have shown how much uh, total amount you will get after 3 years and one more thing uh, it has been done in this POC is year wise return like each year you will get how much money like for example in year 1 you are getting this much amount in year 2 you are getting 12,000 and finally in the year 3 it is reaching 13,000 or whatever is the amount okay so let's get this started and uh, try to create this uh, POC from scratch okay so uh, first of all like let's create an interface for that purpose uh, return calculator I have given a name okay so and in this like uh, uh, for the interface part we don't need to take any form layout of just a single page or better than that uh, what I will do here is uh, let me take a card layout card header is there yeah it works fine now in this let me take one column here and in the column I will take the text so I need three values uh, for this one so uh, to calculate the mutual fund returns I have to take three values like what is the total investment and all so let me just rename it once so here it's the uh, to total total investment okay and after that the next value is uh, the expected return how much expected return and this is in percent and let me put it annual it will be annual return and uh, for the third that is the time period so for that I will give it years for how many years uh, you want to invest like that okay so I have taken this uh, let me create the local variable as well in order to store these values I'm not going to take any rule input because th this will be just for the representation purpose uh, okay so local bank investment okay first value will get stored there and then local bank uh, rate for expected return and then local bank year for how many year you want to be invested and here we will let's map the values here okay value is local bank investment and here as well local bank investment okay and now copy this and let's put it here and in place of that we will put a rate how much is the rate and here uh, for the number of years I will put it here okay now our values are mapped perfectly now let's see like how does this calculator or uh, it works like so for that purpose like compound interest basic formula will is going to be of compound interest only okay uh, either in FDs or mutual fund they give compound interest so we need three things principal rate and time okay so we have taken investment rate here this is done this has been taken care of now we need one expression to calculate the compound interest and later on before the year wise as well we will do it so first of all we need the formula of compound interest like uh, then only we can know so let's see uh, compound interest compound interest formula okay so yeah so here it is taking us let's go to some article okay so here you can see the compound interest formula yeah here it is 
so what it says like amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r by n and r n is generally like 100 only right yeah here well uh -huh. here you can see like they have given like for the first year r by 100 then it is second year right so second year 2 uh, the base is 1 plus r by 100 and exponent is 2 and again for third year it is 3 so in this way like we can create our formula let's save the changes for now and let's go to new and create an expression rule so here we will use calculate uh, ci so here we will use the formula to calculate our ci now our expression rule it is open now ha huh. we need the rule inputs and what were the rule inputs actually uh, the rule inputs uh, that were required is uh, for this one it is the principal we need it and it will be amount let's take it in teaser only okay and then uh, there is rate rate can be of decimal and time for time we will take it whole year so we will take integer for that so three rule input we have prepared now let's go and configure a expression rule for that okay so uh, where we want to store the expression rule local bank ci so i have made a variable to store the ci now come like how to write the formula so if you see the formula here it is p into one plus r by hundreds let's uh, configure whatever is in the brackets okay so in the bracket it is written here 1 plus r okay so we will also write it here 1 plus r is what r is rate and we have got our rate as well rule input rate and then it is divide by 100 so we'll divide it by 100 okay done uh, okay and one more thing let's put it this in bracket in order to avoid any error okay so this part is done 1 plus r by 100 okay after that what we have to take here is uh, we have to take uh, this base is covered and after the base there is the exponent now we have to uh, give the power whatever is in that time we have to make power so for the exponent uh, we have the u we ha there is already a power function available so just we will use it so you, if you see here this is the power base and exponent so in base we have given everything and in the exponent we will give a uh, rule input uh, time so rule input time will give in the exponent now power is also done and after that what is there it is multiplied with the p principal so where is your principal so rule input principal into this one okay so rule input principal and now after that we have to return the local bank ci okay let's return it and let's write now let's take an example like uh, 5000 rupees for a rate of 5% and for a time period of 5 years. Let's test the rule. Okay, it is giving like this. And now let's take any online calculator and uh, we will uh, verify like uh, do we are we getting the same or not so 5000 for 5 years and 5% interest. So you can see 6381 is the total amount and here also we are getting 6381.404 okay so it is correct we are getting in decimal so to avoid the uh, decimal like three places of decimal we are getting let's uh, round it up with the help of round up function to two digits only okay so three digit and now let's we have to give number of digits and now let's see it will give 4 1 it is rounding off let's save the changes and now we will take this expression uh, okay back to uh, this one to our uh, first of all let's store this expression in the interface local bank ci okay and now we will store this rule bank this ha huh. and now if you see here now huh, one error you will obviously get because it is saying like it has three parameters but instead zero passed uh, whatever the rule inputs you have configured uh, you have to add that here okay so principal principal is nothing but our investment value only 
okay and then we have to add the rate that is local bank uh, local bank rate okay and then the time is also there that is local bank uh, time is year okay so our values are fixed now okay and now again it is giving the error in power function line 2 okay again so let's test this error here okay so here also will it will give the error ha huh. here also it is giving because it cannot calculate null uh, right power function is isn't accepting any null value so let's make our code a bit defensive so if we will write if condition here like if it is null then don't uh, calculate or don't jump to this local variable so if null is null what rule input principal okay so if we have to for one value if we have to do then rule input principal is fine like don't do anything or null we have given but and it works but these two parameters are also null then also ca cannot cannot be calculated now we have to write if condition like in the null we have to add this rate and time as well so uh, what we will do is we will take an or here and in the or we will envelop all these rules so we already know that or like if any value is true then it gives true right if any value is there so if any one of them is true if any one of them is null then uh, it will uh, it will not execute this expression so rule input uh, principal is done and then rate is here done and then is null uh, where is it? Huh. is null rule input uh, time is there these are the three things and now let's test it so if these three things are there then it won't break so now our code is a bit more uh, defensive okay now fine so let's go here and let's test it again and now you can see this one fine okay so whatever the ci uh, we have to take another uh, let's take another section here in the section only we'll add the uh, okay not in the columns huh? okay <laughs> explain yeah now uh, in this section we will uh, name it in investment details okay so we have made investment details here and let's make it collapsible okay this one investment details we have made it collapsible it looks good okay fine uh, now in this uh, section we will take a uh, what you can say here is a rich text a rich text component we will take here uh, in the column let me try to give it it's much better in the column and now uh, we have to give it uh, let's configure the rich text first okay so where is the rich text come on where are you ha huh, here it is so in the rich text first of all uh, 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 a bank rich text item so in the rich text item what is the text so text is what is the invested amount okay so we will take invested amount and after that we have to give uh, and and uh, let me add local bank investment what is the invested amount so whatever we give like 5000 here this value should come here also oh, it's not looking good let's give it here like this it's fine this is not required so this is the investment uh, invested amount similarly let's make it uh, the style as bit uh, bold strong and then the size as well will make it a bit uh, medium is medium fine invested amount yeah it's fine and similarly just copy this and ha huh, after that let's paste it here and here invested amount interest earned int e r e s t interest uh, earned how much interest was earned and it will be what it will be not invested interest is what local whatever the ci minus principal it will get us the interest 
okay and now let's let me give a bit of character 10 so character 10 is used to give like something like inter you can say here so it will give one, two inter will be much better hmm. okay some error it was getting right cannot subtract incompatible operands of type list of variant and type text okay so list of variant okay and type text fine so it is saying like can't uh, subtract because it is null that's also true so let's give some initial value here for example let's give the investment as 1000 rupees for a rate of 5% and for uh, let's say like 3 years this is my initial value okay let's check and now you can see here initial value is there and now it will give our data as well okay uh, now let me copy this entire once again and here we will give the value as total total amount total amount how much you want and that is nothing but only the ci okay and this c h a r it should be okay fine and now this is the investment details is done right so now it is fine so two things have been covered this uh, this part is done and this is the investment amount is done okay and then now let's uh, okay let me delete this okay now it's become better huh. now i will add a pie chart here to show the data uh, where is pie chart here yeah so this pie chart so let's see and uh, let's go and configure this pie chart see pie chart uh, in this uh, if you see here uh, this is the label pie chart this uh, let, let us give like a graphical uh, representation whatever with uh, i thought I, sh I have given a graphical representation okay and this is the series this is very important part for pie chart series a bank charts is so what are the labels that you want to so see three values but we have to only show only two values first value is invested amount okay in invested amount what was the investment and second value is interest i n t interest earned what is the interest earned? so first is invested amount so where is our invested amount investment amount or invested we can say hmm. so it is nothing but the local bank investment done and what is the interest interest is local bank investment mine uh, local bank ci minus investment okay this is the value for this one okay and now okay it is just showing the in the parts it should also show the data labels let me go to the pie chart here and it should show the data labels as well show data labels yeah and now you can see here the, whatever is the value we are getting the interest earned here okay so whatever is the value we are getting the interest earned. and now it is showing a lot of digits here okay it's better like to create a local variable only local bank interest uh, then to everywhere minus it uh, so it is nothing but local bank ci minus local bank investment done and i have to use the round up function here as well one time so round up will be so this one let's give it another bracket for them and here we'll give it two so two digit will be only the round up and whenever we are using this we can directly refer the interest okay and now here as well we can refer directly the local bank interest okay fine now let's click on test oh here it is changing but here it is not changing strange and in the local we are getting the value correct okay fine let's leave it for now uh, okay uh, let's uh, let me change some value here we'll check it out later on 
okay fine so this our pie chart is as well prepared what is the interest on what is the invested amount okay uh, till here this part is done now uh, what we have to do next is before that let me just uh, do the rupee symbol let's add some rupee symbol as well let me just copy from here it will look good so total investment and let's paste the value here in this one and in the invested amount as well let's add the interest earned and this is the value for this one total amount all these are in now rupee symbol fine and in here as well in the interest on let's add here so now it will show the values there as well okay so this is the uh, let's give after that what we will do here is uh now this our two parts are now finished our look data looks bit more clear now the next part is very important that is we have to calculate the year wise return for three years i know like what is the investment but for year wise now i have to calculate so for that what i will do here is let me take another section here okay uh, here only and now here i will just give it year wise return okay and this is this part is very important okay so to show the year wise return what i will show do here is i will take a read only grid to show the year wise returns uh, okay uh, read only grid is here right now done now for the read only grid uh, where is the read only grid where are you ha huh, here year wise return read only grid no need to write the label just remove it okay and now the next a part is the data now how to get the data for the year wise we have only calculated an expression uh, for the ci okay but we are whatever the values here we are getting as a whole now to get in the year wise which concepts we should use that is one problem okay see we are getting a whole number so for that purpose what we do is for example if the user put three years then automatically we should get the uh, ci for like what was the value in the first year what was in second year what was in third year so the year should enumerate right it should iterate like through one two three and to that number so for this purpose if you see there is a uh, let me okay so uh, in the suit design rule let me open an unnamed rule so there is a function in appian called enumerate function okay so we are going to use enumerate so if i give enumeration of 5 so what it will do here is it will give me the number from 0 to n minus 1 you can see here 0 to n minus 1 so 0 to n what is the n here 5 so 0 to 4 it will give so let's add it one here and now it, you will see like if i want to get the fifth number as well so i have just added externally one to it and now it works fine so it works like this now uh, for our uh, ci what we should do okay so i will not uh, you know like uh, nothing should be done in this expression let's create a separate uh, expression to make it much more clearer okay and i will just duplicate this expression because we need the ci only we need to make some changes let we will see so let's make a ys underscore calculate uh, ci so this is the expression to calculate the ci ah okay this name uh, calculate ci i will write it year wise so this expression will be used to calculate the ci year wise okay so now hmm, this is uh, this is the expression for that now we want whatever the value we have given here for example 6 and for example 5 the 5 should iterate 5 times so for that purpose what is the value which is iterating it is depending on that time and uh, like time only needs to iterate like 1 2 3 4 uh, return will be constant here so for the time here so here only we will use enumerate and in the argument will take the time here okay and now let me add okay so 
this expression is a power okay and I have to add the time here only so in the this one what I should do is rule input and here only I should add plus now let's see what it is returning so now you can see here it is returning different values right for first year what is the return for second year what is the return for third year what is the return every value now it is iterating over it okay so now we are getting the values let's save our data and try to refer this expression in our read only grid okay so let me copy this expression and will uh, refer this in the data part so rule bang uh, this expression is there and I would have to give all the arguments so I have already copied it somewhere the same thing it will be here as well okay okay but still it is giving the error huh. now very important part is this like how to refer the data in the read only grid that is very important so what it error the read only grid is throwing is that data must be sourced from a record type a query a list of CDT or a data subset so it, only these are the sources where we can refer the data in a read only grid but we don't have a, a record okay I've query as well we don't have list of dictionary fine we can think about it a list of city we don't have or a data subset huh. so data subset I found it very suitable option here so what we will do here is we will convert this data into data subset okay so now how to convert this is the CI here and this is the result we are getting and we just have to convert data subset now what is a data subset so data subset like you remember like when we query any data from uh, database uh, uh, it used to give uh, like a uh, start index back size like this so let me test it and now you can see here only see this is a data subset and here you can see the type as well data subset okay start index back size like this it will accept the data okay L let's uh, save the changes here only okay let's uh, save the changes here only and let's now refresh the UI okay now again it is throwing the error data may not be a data subset contain entire data update the data parameter to receive only array of data now we only it is saying like update array of data so let's see if we want only data then what we can do like this dot data <laughs> again we are back to the same expression let's see what error it returns okay uh, Ah, again it is throwing the same error it's fun getting the same error again and again here and there okay again it needs to be a data subset actually the data subset was not properly mapped okay so what we will what we have to do here is uh, what I will do here is to convert into a data subset uh, uh, okay let me so let me take an expression uh, for that so here you can see here I have taken a query entity here for a VOF customer data store if I click on test rule so it is returning all the data and you here you can see here it, the data it should it is like what key value pair it is in dictionary form you can see here it is written here dictionary updated by and then their name is there updated on then date and time is written here the same way we need the data here as well for example year 1 year 2 year 3 that so that we can write but we have to write for each value uh, okay so for that purpose what we will do here is let's d remove the data for now here okay uh, data subset is fine so we know like for each value we have to write year 1 year 2 like this so what we will do here is just, just take an a bank for each let's iterate over each data so over which I want to iterate in the items so I want to iterate over local bank CI and you can see a yes, CI is only getting the if I have written 5 then here it is returning 5 values so we have to iterate over local bank CI and now for the expression part here okay now for the expression part we have already converted that data into the data subset okay now let's test the rule okay and now you can see here again for each value oh my god for each value it is returning the data okay so uh, for that what we will do here is local bank ci is here and this is 
a bang for each year and this is the if condition fine so what we will do here is we don't want data like this so in the data subset there is a well parameter here let's give the array okay array array to page array to page is what so we don't want uh, if we have iterated it no need to directly write local bank ci we can use a free bank item for that array to page and we have to also give year one year two as well right so for that purpose what i will do here is uh, i will use concat function so concat and what a so for each year and then after year there should be a number so how to get the number we are inside a bank for each so we can use fp bank index for that for getting the number and then we need a bit of dash as well and then again we need the value so whatever the value it is stored in fb bank atom and now let's test it now you can see here we are getting all the data okay like this so year one is what year two is what let let's see like this one okay uh, let's uh, huh. this is the data subset let me give dot data here let me give the dot data here and we can see see here year one year two all these values are getting like this even if i write uh, 13 years for example so it will iterate and go till 13 years see it will go one two three automatically it is manipulating the data whatever the value so okay so let's remove the data for now and now we will go back to our read only grid and configure this so let's copy this expression okay and now in the okay or no we need to copy it is already there and now you can see here uh, whatever the value it is taking uh, what you can see here is uh, uh, let me give here four only for three it is working hmm. so what uh, huh, in the read only grid no columns have been specified so let me specify some columns here okay 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 here is the column a bank uh, now in the columns how to configure it in data a bank grid column a bank grid column and in the grid column what we have to give the label so label will be year first label is year and then what is the value you want in the year so i want to display fv bank uh, fv bank in our row okay in order to refer to that particular row data you can use fv bank row in read only grid huh. and now you can see here all the data has come start index do if you write dot start index it will put the start index here but we don't want to start we want dot data and now you can see here we were getting the data ha huh. and now one more problem has actually arised here we need only the year but it is now throwing like year and this both values are now showing we don't want both the values here only so now again comes a question like we have to split the data year should be in year column amount should be in amount column let's create a column for the amount as well let me just copy this here and after copying let me add and here we will use amount so amount should be in amount and year should be in year so for that purpose there is a function called split okay so with the help of that we can split our data so split function first of all it requires two argument what is the text this is the text and what is the separator i want to split on the basis of dash right so this is the dash i have given and now you can see here the dash has been removed here here it is still there i have not removed from there here it is still here okay and now i only want the first value so for that purpose we can index it okay let us index and we only want the first if first is not there then just give it comma and with null we can provide and now you can see here year one two three four it is coming similarly let's copy this here uh, in this place paste it here but here we require not the index one but index two at index two which value is there this one uh, we wa we can also i have somewhere ha huh, this rupee symbol is all there right it's uh, it looks good with the rupee symbol ah, find this one this one and let's paste it here 
let's give it a comma and let's concat the value okay and this is done so now you can see here uh, all the values are now getting yeah a bit of space is fine now if i if i increase the year to suppose seven years so you can see automatically it will give the uh, give the number of year for seven years in 1407 is the amount for seven years for five percent okay annually if it is getting okay so this is also done and uh, now we are our our POC is uh, almost completed only let's give only few changes UI based changes are there okay let's make it collapsible this as well okay a collapsible initially collapsible fine huh this had uh, this part is remaining only the heading one is not there let me give the rich text here and here we will write something as mutual fund returns calculator where is this ah, here a bank rich text uh, header is already here so let's use the header only then text or automatically the size will be I guess much more mutual fund return calculator mutual fund return calculator I have given here and you can see all or automatically like size is a bit more and after that uh, we will no need to give the size and uh, link only we can show okay there are a very okay let's align it okay let's align in the center done okay fine mutual fund return calculator but it is not giving me any option for the color and all not good i need some color even rich text item i will use in that case in the size mutual fund return cal later done and you uh, is why here okay and then in the text and then we can give it style as a bit strong and uh, the color I will give it color uh, uh, color I don't remember so color I would have but size I can make it a bit large okay size I can make it a bit large color will select from the design view huh. one more thing I want to add here is uh, there is a formula in the internet like um, I saw it like in how many years your investment can uh, will get uh, what you can see here is say that is uh, in how much time it will get double right so there is a formula on the internet okay so uh, I will try to use that here as well so uh, local bank let me create formula for that local bank year or just let me write it double I can understand okay so the formula goes like 72 divided by whatever the rate of interest you are getting it is getting by double so local bank uh, uh, no 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 72 divided by local bank uh, interest it will get double in that amount okay so here we will use the roundup as well in case we didn't got to this is the value and this is the roundup and somewhere our rich text item will be here and this one hmm. and in the text we will add here uh, not directly a bang rich text item okay and in here we can write the text as your investment your investment will get double in and now I have to write the formula local bank double and now you can see here somewhere where it is ah, here it is okay let's uh, make it a bit here in the center fine and we will make this style a bit uh, strong fine and then uh, increase the size as well 
to I guess medium would be much better yeah medium is much better your investment will get double in this okay local bank uh, I have divided it by interest local bank whatever the rate uh, rate is the correct formula hmm. now you it is fine and after that here I can write it in dash and then again and uh, years in this is the investment get double in this much year now it is complete now let's just change the color a bit okay so for this one uh, let me give it like green mutual fund returns calculate is much better so that's all in this video we got to know a lot about this we can create a site obviously uh, i have not done that okay okay let's just uh, create a site uh, like uh, return okay display name is uh, mutual fund return okay so let me create this site and see i i haven't used any rule inputs here so it's much better like uh, i can directly uh, refer this as a in the site directly no need to do anything so uh, here also calculator let me add some icon as money 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 yeah, yeah. and uh, let's see here this is the return calculator let's copy it here let's uh, put it in the site and now our site is ready let's save the changes and let's see our site working so this is uh, how it looks in the site so if uh, so see that's why <laughs> uh, in the FD like if return is low it takes a lot of year but in mutual fund if you take like 12 percent of expected return so you can see in six year only your money will get double and if you stay invested for around 10 years it is much better <laughs> it is even better like this for even 1000 rupees I am taking because the investment is very less and here you can see this is the investment and this is how the money will get double so if I stay invested even for 15 years let's see for thousand so you can see one thousand investment it is getting as uh, five thousand four hundred seventy three and see in the read only grid is automatically adjusting the value like first 10 values are here by default it is 10 and 11 year 11 year 12 year 13 year. Uh, all these values were there so in this POC we got to know uh, like even if the data for example in this case the data was not according to our need so we converted that data into data subset and then used it okay so that's uh, uh, also we can do that so that's all in this video thank you for watching